All right. We can, we can, we can check out the new Germany coverage. Um, okay. Hügelwörterstrasse. Sounds Austrian? How does it sound Austrian? Hügelwörter sounds Austrian. Wait, what? Why is it blurred here and not here? This house wants to be blurred or, or no? Getting some mi mixed messages here. Look on the bus. Which, where, which bus? That bus? We can try to catch up with this bus. Oh my god, this is too fast. The bus is too quick. Wear mask. Mund und Nase bedecken. Bitte. Cover your mouth and nose, please. Please don't speak with the driver. Okay, don't speak with the driver, people. Doesn't say the city anywhere, though. München, München. Makes sense. Just said it sounded kind of Austrian. Nice, it is München. Very nice. Zufahrt zur Altenberger Straße an den Annewand. Okay, okay. Achtung, Brandversuche. Brandversuche. Ja, ja. Sehr gut, sehr gut. I did some German Duolingo lessons recently, actually. I remember more than I thought I would, actually, to be honest. Uh, does it say the city there? Czech Republic. Easy, Czech Republic. Autohaus Redberg Schmiedelberg. Schmiedeberg. Well, let's see if there's a Schmiedeberg near Czechia. I don't know. Let, let's just guess somewhere. I mean, it makes sense that it should, would be near Czechia. Schmiedeberg. There it is. It's, it's so tiny, it's even not written with the regular letters. Tiny Schmiedeberg, huh? It's so cool that Germany has, like, a proper coverage now. Polish trees? But what makes the trees Polish? Steinfurt and Har... These signs... Well, I don't know German signs, but... I know... S um, Luxembourg has similar signs. I don't know if that's a clue or not. I would have guessed West. But, but I'm gonna trust chat and go Northeast. Okay, it was near Berlin, actually. East 100%. Well done, it was, it was. Polish tree metal. What, what made the trees Polish, though? Ludwigsburg. Kreis Ludwigsburg. Ludwigsburg is findable. Ludwigsburg. How findable? I'm not finding it. North of, north of Stuttgart. Ludwigsburg. Oh! I would, I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so not that findable to me. I've been to Germany like a few times before. Once driving through. Or I guess twice driving through back and forth. I've been to Berlin twice. And I've been to Hanover once. Oh, and I've been to Frankfurt in the airport. So that's my German experience. Very tall, dark bark remind me, you, it reminds you of U.S. pines, okay. Polish trees. Erbstollenstrasse. Any city names? No. Zero fun, one phone code. Was there a zero one phone code? There was zero one phone code. What does that mean? Oh, Dortmund, Dortmund. It says Dortmund. Mobile number, okay. Dortmund, at least it says there, there, right? Nice! Is German coverage in world map, etc. yet? Um, I don't think it's in the world map yet, but we're working on it. I'm alone with you. Hasenklinge. Does it say, Kön, Könsel something? What city is that? It says it there, but... Könsel something. Könsel Kunzel. Do we see that from afar, or is it smaller? I uh, don't think we see it from this distance. Take me to church. Southwest Kunzelzau. Here it is, Kunzelzau. You're saying, saying Southwest, yeah? Kunzelzau. Kunzelzau, Kunzelzau. I don't know. I don't see Kunzelzau anywhere. Ah, oh, it was... 
Oh, Kunzelsau, here it is. Oh my god, it was tiny. No way. No way I would have found it. Feuerwehr zu Fahrt. Fläche für die Feuerwerk freihalten. Yeah, keep, keep, keep the way for fire trucks. Three. Dortmund, you think? I remember before there was new coverage, people were using the, the road, now, a road like uh, the signs. Uh, can they still be used, or are they too many nowadays to, to remember them all? How does it work with the German metas? Too many, you think? It was near Dortmund, nice one. Kinda close to where we had the, the other one. Mooswaldbierstube. Yeah, yeah. Parad Met Metzger. What is Metzger? Met Metzger, Metzger. Parad is a bike. But Metzger... Metzger means butcher. Bike butcher, what? Moosvelda. I guess Moosvelda is the town, right? Oh, it's a surname. Oh, okay. Parad Metzger. It's like, like Metzger's bikes, I guess. That makes more sense than a bike butcher. Germans know how to advertise gym, I, let me tell you that much. Makes me wanna go to the gym right away. Where is Freiburg? Freiburg, is this the one? Freiburg am Preisgau. Yeah, that's the one, nice. They have good gyms there. It looks like we're in a smaller town, or maybe like in very... outskirts of a bigger city, maybe. Well, seems like a nice neighborhood to live in, to be honest. Nice and quiet. Nice houses. Okay, we're off to a bigger street now. Wait, we can't go there, huh? Is this near a border or something? Why can't we go there? Might be border of the Netherlands. Because the houses, the architecture does feel kind of Dutch, doesn't it? German coverage is still rather limited. Ah, oh, okay. I have seen, like, the, the, I think there were, like, patches kind of in the middle. But yeah, the architecture does feel kind of Dutch, doesn't it? The houses, these bricks. So the border with the Netherlands would make sense to me, at least. Let's see. Okay, not that close, but it was it was close to the Netherlands, yeah. It was Luxten. Luxten. El Elschweg. Elschweg. Oh, Kirche. A church. We have a church, we have a train. Stadtbahn. City train. Wolfbusch. Wolfbusch is the city, I guess, that we are in. Stuttgart? Wait, how do you know? Did it say it? Flughafen Messe. We have an airport. Messe airport? Near Stuttgart. Is there a Messe somewhere here? Any idea why it's, uh, like, street name signs are sometimes blue, sometimes white? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think the... I know when the coverage was still very limited, like, in only the biggest cities, I know people used the, um, street signs to kind of distinguish the, them. Uh, I, I'm not super sure, but I think it's not as possible anymore, just because the... The designs are so many and different all over the place. You can still use it for the biggest cities, probably, I imagine, but there are probably better ways. I'm sure people are looking for Meta as we speak. Mesa is convention center. The same place as the airport in Stuttgart. Where's the airport in Stuttgart? Oh, here it is. Messe Stuttgart. Here it is. Where is the Wolf? What was it? Wolf? Wolf's... Wolf's Busch. Wolf Schlugen. No, Wolf Busch. Where are the trains? I don't see. Trains are always so hard to notice in these maps. Well, let's just get somewhere here, I guess. Oh, the other side of Stuttgart. Wolfbusch here it was super small. Five-digit postal codes in Germany can be helpful. The first digit starts in the east with zero increases anti-clockwise. Two is north. Five is west. Eight is south. Three is in the middle. Nice. Okay, that's actually really cool. If we see some postal codes, we can try try to use them. How common is it to see postal codes in Germany? I think I've seen some of them on, on some of the cars, no? I think we have seen some already. Ne how okay, what's what's with the what what's the situation with the road numbers? Are they 
good like in Hungary or or something, or are they terrible like in France? They're random. Oh, lovely. But let, uh, but let, at least they're unique, no? The yellow row numbers are rather random, okay. No, in France it's even worse. Okay, at least they're unique. In France they are random and they're not even unique. At least in Germany they are unique. So if you find a road 214, it's the, it's the correct road 214. At least. So it's better than France, worse than Hungary in terms of road numbers, is what I'm hearing. So yeah, there's a not, not really point looking for the road number, because it could be anywhere. We see 216, 205, 203, 213, 210. Looks like they are somewhat maybe grouped together. Because I see lots of 200s here. 213, 214, 218, 215, 214. So they are kind of grouped together. So they might be random, but there is some sort of grouping, it seems. Yeah, let's just get somewhere there. Nice, nice. Yeah, I imagine there's so, so many things people are learning now about Germany. Especially with the World Cup coming up and the qualifiers as well. <laughs> big, big information. Uh, extra information to learn now. Because it's a pretty big country, right in the middle of Europe, so... It could be quite handy to know, know these things. To get some extra points in those duels. Another France. Basically, yeah, like, very similar size. But imagine, for me, like, not knowing too much about either country, to me, Fra Germany seems more guessable than France. Because I think you can use the postal codes, right? You can use road numbers. And I think you can use the phone numbers as well, right? Das Leben ist zu kurz für irgendwann. The life is too short for whenever? What does that mean? Ostbayern. Wait, Bayern? Where was Bayern? Which part was Bayern? East Bavaria. Where was East Bavaria? <laughs> Southeast. Bayern is near München. Ost. Wait, Ost? Ost is east, no? I don't know, somewhere here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. You're probably learning the names of, like, the, the German, um... Like, the states, not the states. Oh, what was the name, goddammit. Oh god, I subdiv yeah, subdivision. There was like a name for German subdivisions, which I I'm blanking on. Bundesländer, yes! Thank you, Jess. Bundesländer. Like the Bundesland. Uh, the learning those names can be also probably very helpful. I'm sure I've heard of them all, but I don't know where which one is where. It should probably be handy to learn. So what's with the phone numbers? So we have a phone number here, right? So how can we use that one? Zero, is it six? I think it's zero six. No, it's, no, it's zero eight. Zero eight. Zero eight is Bavaria. Or Saxonia. I'm not sure where Saxonia is. Bavaria is here, as we've learned. Okay, Jess is 80% sure that zero eight is Bavaria. 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 I don't know. Nice. Okay, nice. So zero eight is here. Wait, let's quickly have a, have a look. German phone codes. Okay, here we go. Not as e not not as handy as in France. Look, it's not like a clockwise one, two, three, four. Uh five, but it's so zero two so so zero one was for uh, mobile, as we found out, right? Zero one was mobile, so zero two is uh here left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you so it's kind of like a, like a cross in a way. Like, whoop. Only 0-2, that's not anti-clockwise. Oh yeah, that's actually a good way to remember, yeah. It kind of goes anti-clockwise except for 0-2. That's a good way to remember. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Zero, 6 to zero, 9 phone codes are roughly the same areas as 6 to 9 zip codes. Oh, so much to remember, so much to remember. Deutsches Post. Well, that doesn't help much. Brown glass, green glass. Make me a radio. So, zero 06. Zero 06. So, 
uh, zero two was here three four five six was kind of here ish in the middle ish like frankfurt or something no let's go german pros y'all we're all we are we are all german pros already son art semmer maybe a surname Cerkvia Vjernbro uh, is it like near poland i think it's polish isn't it so it would make sense that it is near the border, huh? Verben. It is not Polish? Oh, is it not? Serbian? Or Sorbian? Wait, what is Sorbian? With a no. What's Sorbian? I've never heard of Sorbian. It's a minority language. But it's it appears like visually similar to Polish. Is is it like a minority po language near Poland? Near Czech and Polish border. Oh, there it was, Verben. Yeah, very, very small. We are, we are learning things for sure. Akma, I, I can't read it. How much free view is there in Germany? Um, there is quite a lot. They added the new coverage. Uh, so there are some gaps. Like here are some gaps, but, but most of Germany is covered now. Um, Yeah. I don't know, are, are they planning to uh, fill these gaps in as well, eventually? I don't know. Probably, I imagine. Um, Berliner Straße. If it's Berliner, yeah, I, I think it looks like it might be Berliner Straße. It, it doesn't help then. Well, maybe this political ad has something helpful. Das Land in guten Händen. Okay, not, not helpful at all. Gemeinde Isernhagen. Is Isernhagen maybe the na place name? Okay, uh, another political ad. Has if it come in it Neuwambüchen? Neuwambüchen. No idea where that could might be. Region Hanova. Hello. Region Hanova. Well, I know where Hanova is. I've been there. And Neuwambüchen. So apparently, uh. Looking at these signs could be helpful because it could say region you you might recognize. So that that alone is a good good reason to look at these signs as well. Yeah, I don't think we'll be I'll be able to find it, but uh, it should be somewhere in the area. Neuwarnbüchen is there, yeah. All right. Okay, we have zero three. Zero three phone number was like the Berlin area, the eastern area here, right? Zero six, zero six postal code was kind of northern part. So is this northeast then? Rosleben. Rather north. Wouldn't north have like zero four or something? The f Wait, let's look at the phone numbers again. I guess, yeah, like maybe north here then. Zero postcode, not six. Oh, is it the zero postcode? German postal codes. Let's let's have a look at postal code map. Oh, that, there's a lot of them. Okay, okay, so zeros are here. Zero six is here. Zeros, ones, twos, threes in the middle, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's how it works. So zero six would be somewhere here. Okay, kind of kind of southwest. So there's this Rosleben, like somewhere here, I think. Let's see. Okay, a little bit more southwest. Rosleben Vihe. Okay. Nice, nice. So yeah, phone numbers, what we're learning, phone numbers and postal codes are super helpful. If you get them both, you can really narrow it down, the area, if you if you know them. So that's that's really good. Freiwillige Feuerwerk Langen. Langen something. Langen Brütz. Langen Brütz is the place name, isn't it? Many red houses looks northern. Yeah, the red bricks are more common in the north, isn't uh, isn't it? But what's the phone number? Is it zero one? Wait, zero one is the the mobile phone, so it doesn't help either way. What is this? Maybe something helpful here. Zero three phone number. So it would be you know, this part. 03 is the biggest part, I think. 
from from the map what I remember. Lub Lubker? Lubker or Lubzer? Is that a Z or a G? It is a Z, okay. Z Lubzer. Doesn't seem like a big place, so I don't think we'll be able to find it. Well, let's see somewhere here. Okay, a little bit more to west, but still, not bad. Not bad overall. Overall, pl pretty close, I would say. Loops, there is just a beer? Oh no, okay. So it wasn't a place name. It was just a beer name. Fair enough. Is Bad Gugging the place name? Bad Gugging. Bad Gugging. Bad Gugging is the place, yeah, okay. Very south. Like, the architecture and the vibe is getting southern, southern vibes for me as well. Because, see, here we don't see those red brick houses anymore. It just, just feels, yeah, kind of more, more southern-ish to me as well. Abens River. I think you saw Bar Bavaria flag. Ah, oh, so, so, look, maybe learning, like, the, the Bundesländer flags could be also helpful. Phone 09. So 09, I think it was like somewhere here, right? I think it went like this. And then, then it kind of looped up a little bit again. So like Nuremberg, maybe. Bad gogging. Is there bad gogging somewhere here? Okay, I don't see gogging anywhere, but, but uh, let's get somewhere here ish. Oh, okay, not as north, not as north. I hear it's bad gugging, yeah. All right, not bad though. Bavaria loves to show off the, its flag, the other is not so much. Okay, so, so learning Bavarian flag in particular would be helpful. Okay, good to know. What do we have? Gross Sachsen, Muckensturm, Lorsch, and Hüttenfeld, and Viernheim. Bavaria flag is quite easy, it's a white and blue checkered flag. I'm I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. Wait, can we not go that in that direction? I guess not. I, I guess we go here. 659. U U68. No, U88. So are the U88s is, is the 88 the big road? 659 is Autobahn. 88 is temporary, you think. Weinheim, 659. Well, it looks like some 600s are here-ish. 659, 656? Well, let's get somewhere there. See how close it is. Okay, it was somewhere here. I Oh, there it is. There it is. Just didn't notice it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, so pretty good overall. Uh, quite a lot to learn, but yeah, overall the most useful things are the phone numbers, the postal codes, maybe learning Bundesländer names, and maybe flags. Oh yeah, and architecture is a big clue, another thing, yeah, for sure. Because northern Germany and southern Germany have very distinct differences. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it both entertaining and educational. If you haven't already, press that like button and subscribe. And on the right side, there will be another interesting video I think you will enjoy. Huge thanks to all of my patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel and making it all possible. If you would like to become a supporter yourself and unlock exclusive videos and more cool things, click the link in the description. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you all in the next video.